Winston Churchill once said, you have enemies, good. That means you've stood up for something sometime in your life that you believe in. I wholeheartedly agree with this quote because if you don't stand up for yourself and you always just be like submissive or passive aggressive, like you're never really treating yourself right. Like having enemies for believing something that other ones don't believe in are honestly the best way to make enemies. Like I understand that it's never good to, for yourself to have en enemies, but um, believing in yourself is definitely one of the best ways to do it. So a personal example of this um, is my, um, back in high school I was one of the cheerleaders and we had a guy cheerleader on our team and he'd always get like bullied and stuff because he's a guy cheerleader. Everybody would like call him gay and everything, which is just like very disgusting and like so like upsetting, you know? And so um, he was like one of my best friends in high school. And so whenever somebody would ta like talk to him a certain way or like say certain things to him, like of course I'd always stand up for him. I'd always be like, why are you saying this to him? Like there's literally no reason for you to do that. And it's like, I've had people like talk back to me and like hate me for that those reasons and stuff, but if I wouldn't have done that and like helped him and like, cause I know he could have done it by himself, um, but it just makes you feel better as a person also if you stand up for yourself. Um, another example is me and my family are, are like super huge about like mental health advocacy. And so um, I know with some people, mental health issues are super like hush hush and like don't talk about it, don't think about it. Um, but with me and my family, we talk about it so much and we're very um, open to people. Like we talk about our problems if we have problems. Um, but one of my friends was going through a pretty rough time and so I was trying to talk to her and help her out and stuff. She was like super like suicidal. She was like trying to do all these things to herself. And um, I spoke up, even though she told me not to. Like I told a school counselor, I told her mom too. Like she ended up hating me for it, and like one of my biggest enemies at the time. But um, recently she just like apologized to me. She said like, if you wouldn't have done that, like I probably would have just killed myself type of stuff. Which is like a serious, like scary thing, but it's like, at the time, I knew I was doing right, even though she became an, an enemy for like a good like month or so. Um, but with this quote, you have enemies, good, that means you stood up for something sometime in your life that you believe in. I think Winston Churchill was really speaking from the heart in this and that he was also was speaking from experience. And I know that we all have probably experiences that we've made an enemy from because we stood up for something we believed in or talked back when we needed to. So, in conclusion, I think Winston Churchill is very agreeable with this quote. Okay, well, you use the quote as your attention device. That's a little bit awkward, but you do have a clear point of view. I like that. There's not really a preview of what the structure is going to be, but I can tell that you've got a structure in the examples that you use. Uh, you've got two good examples that you use, both of them related to experiences that you had in high school. They're pretty effective. Um, it's easy to hear you when you're speaking. You have a tendency to look down at the topic a lot, and when you aren't looking at the topic, uh, the corners and the floor are your favorite places to look. You want to be talking to us a little bit more. You've stood as far back as you possibly can. You know, If you could get on the other side of the wall, it looks like you would probably be doing that. Come on, step up and engage us a little bit more. I, the, you, I, you, if I'm just listening to you, you're doing pretty good, but every time I look at you, you, you kind of undermine that because you, you look less confident and less certain than you sound, which is we want those things to be complementary sorts of things, and that's a little bit of a problem. Uh, the summary was okay at the end of the speech. Uh, you kind of remind us the point that you're getting to, and that's always a good way to finish off. So, um, you know, you've got that one taken care of now, and we've got that behind us. Thank you.